This is Win News. Tonight, the mammoth effort to clean and repair equipment used in the Hazelwood fire. East Gippsland celebrates its indigenous culture. And the Royal Flying Doctors fly into Gippsland. Good evening, I'm Bruce Roberts. Also tonight, a celebration in Merbu North as the town retains its childcare centre. Victoria's Fire Services Commissioner says there is logic in the community's call to permanently expand the fire service and its resources in the Latrobe Valley. Craig Lapsley concedes Victoria does not own much of the equipment that was needed to fight the Hazelwood mine fire. On loan from Tasmania, Queensland, the ACT and New South Wales Fire and Rescue, the compressed air foam or CAF units were the key to extinguishing the mine fire. That's something that we in Victoria don't have to the same level. And that'll be one of the learnings out of this, of what do we need to build in that, in that CAF's capability. Victoria's Fire Services Commissioner says he'd like to see CAF units based in the Latrobe Valley. To have them in the valley, um, to be built for the valley, will be something we look at and you'd suggest that that's a logical outcome. Craig Lapsley says he'll work to address the community's concerns. That whole issue about how we supplement the valley, uh, how we have the right resources in the valley, we'll look at. And uh, if it needs to go to the Board of Inquiry, it will. But I think that's something between ourselves that we can do quite successfully. Um, work with the locals and understand what the capability needs to be. With the fire now out, one by one, each piece of equipment used in the six-week-long battle will be cleaned, serviced and repaired. Everything that's gone through the mine has to come through here to be cleaned and dispatched. Some of the trucks have been running 24 hours a day, so it's more about the mechanical issues of the trucks. Some minor um, body, body damage, but the most important thing is to get the equipment back on the truck so they can actually do their jobs. In all, there are 65 trucks with the interstate vehicles taking priority. It's obviously to get them home. Uh, some of those have got to be floated. This one that's behind me has to be floated back to Brisbane on a, on a, on a transporter. That has to go back and be back there Monday. The project is expected to take another two weeks. They've employed extra labour, they've been working two shifts, day shift and right through to midnight washing and cleaning and detailing the trucks. Meanwhile the Department of Health will close the Health Assessment Centre on Sunday. We are seeing the numbers through the Community Health Assessment Centre have dropped off um, very greatly. About 2,100 people have been through the centre since it first opened. The Chief Health Officer maintains there haven't been any presentations of concern. The Trobe Valley Regional Hospital has not reported to us any, um, any serious issues that could be attributed to this incident. Brooke Van Newton, Wind News. Drivers travelling on the Princes Freeway between Morwell and Maui are being urged to take extra care as repair work continues from the fires in the area. The speed limit adjacent to the Hazelwood Mine has returned to 110 kilometres per hour. However, the limits will be reduced along sections of the road in coming weeks as crews continue efforts to remove dangerous trees as well as repair barriers.